Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to initially set up a Git repository locally on your machine and then push it up to a repository on GitHub. So I've already selected the directory that I'm going to put my project and then I'm going to just create a directory. So I'm going to say mkdir and then I'm going to call this uh, Super Code Girl. I'm going to make a website for Super Code Girl. Then I'm going to cd into it. And then what I want to do is initialize this as a git repo. So I'm going to say git init. And then if I do ls-al, um, you can see that I have this .git file. This is an invisible git, so if I just do ls, you won't be able to see that file. But if I do um, dash "-a", it'll show me all the files, uh, even the invisible ones. And if I do an L, it'll show it in list view. So that's what I did there. So now I'm just going to make an index.html file. I'll just use touch index.html to create an empty file. And then I'll also just make a readme. So touch readme.md. And now I'm going to open this in Sublime. So oops, subl. Okay, so here we go. Um, I am going to just make a really quick HTML document, super code girl. And then I'll just do an H1 just so, just for brevity's sake. Super code girls website. Okay, maybe just a welcome just since we're here. <laughs> okay, save that. And then on the README, I'm going to say super code girl. And then I'm going to have some installation instructions in case um, somebody wants to uh, download this. OK, save that. So let's go back to our terminal. I'm going to say git status just to make sure those files are there. There they are. It says that they're ready to use git add on. So I'm going to say git add. I have a couple options. I could just add them one at a time. So I could say index.html and readme.md. Um, if there is a directory, I could just add that directory. So like, um, I don't know, docs. Uh, but in this case, I just want to add all the files. So I can say git add dot and that will add everything. So if I run status again, now these have turned to green and the message says use git rm dash dash cached to, um, to unstage them. So this is a great thing to know that if you add something but haven't committed it, this is a really quick, easy way to get out of it. So, uh, but I am ready to commit. So now I'm gonna say git commit. I'm gonna do an inline message. So I'm gonna say dot m, and then I'm gonna use single quotes and just say initial commit, end it with a single quote, and then hit return. Okay, so now I have this locally committed I'm ready to add it to a repository on GitHub. So what I'm gonna do is go up to my GitHub account. So I'm in my main repositories screen. You'll either see a new button over here on the right, or you probably will see it up here on the um, top left here. Um, mine's up here on the right, so I'm gonna say click new. I'm gonna make it the same name as my local, but you don't necessarily have to. Super code girl just makes it easier to remember. Oops, what am I doing? Okay, I'm searching. That is not what I want to do. Okay, so I can add a description. It's optional. Um, by default, it's public. If you want it private, I think it's about seven dollars a month. Um, and then we don't want to initialize it with a README because we've already created our README. It will just make it a lot harder to um, do our initial push. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to add a git ignore file right now. We just want to create our repository. So now that we have this, uh, we see that we have this, um, this uh, set of instructions here. This is basically what we've done. We've um, created a repository and some files. We've run git init on it. We've added them and committed them. And so now we're ready to do this step, git remote add origin. So what this is going to do is it's going to connect our local git repository up to this GitHub repository so that there's uh, a connection there. So I'm going to copy it, go back to my terminal, and I'm just going to run this command. 
And now if I say git remote dash V, it'll show me that my fetch origin is this repository on GitHub and my push origin is also the same repository. So now uh, this is the very first time I'm pushing. So I need to set upstream. So if I say git push, and I'm just going to show you what will happen if I run it without setting upstream, um, it'll say uh, to set the current branch and set the remote as upstream, please use this command. You can copy and paste this. I like the shortcut, which is git push dash u, which is the same thing as dash dash set dash upstream. And then I say origin master. So what this is doing is it's pushing this to the origin from this master branch. So I hit return and it is pushing. And then there you go. So now it says there's a new branch up on supercodegirl.git on GitHub um, called master. So if we go up here and we refresh our page, this will go away and we will see our repository. So here's my file, here's my readme, um, here's my index.html with our title and our h1 paragraph tag. And there you go. Thanks for watching.